Yeah, and, and uh, we're looking at highs only in the 50s today. We're going to be in the upper 50s, but with rain coming in, that's going to keep temperatures down. So planning out your Monday, if your morning drive is, is now or even within the next two hours, I think you may miss out on this rain for the morning drive, but rain's coming in from the northwest today. And so uh, it's going to continue to inch closer and closer over the next couple of hours. And I think moving in, especially to areas that's maybe north of, uh, of 696 or even north of M59, you know, this area, northern Oakland, Livingston, Macomb County, and across the thumb, you're going to get some of this rain before areas south of Detroit and closer to Ohio will see the rain. So I think the rain moving in between about 7 and 8 o'clock this morning for areas basically north of Detroit and then farther south you are may take a little later in the morning for that rain to move in. But showers are going to be off and on. Right now, temperatures are close to 50 degrees. The wind is going to be increasing as we go through the morning too. some wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour this afternoon and some pockets of some heavy rain in the uh, mid to late morning hours. And then we get in the afternoon and the evening especially and the showers become more broken. We'll have some dry periods too, but often on showers are going to continue tonight and then through tomorrow. It's the same uh, weather pattern, but I think lighter showers tomorrow and then more breaks in the showers tomorrow as well. But today, grab your rain gear, raincoat and umbrella, rain boots, temperatures only uh, topping out about 59 degrees. Some wind gusts again as high as 30 miles per hour. Uh, not the prettiest of days, but if your morning drive is soon, then at least you're, you're avoiding the, uh, the rain for the morning commute for you. 49 degrees are low. Here is now Hurricane Ian. It's going to track to the northwest and then eventually take a turn just over western Cuba to the north and then back to the northeast. Could become a Category 4 hurricane before it weakens before reaching land somewhere around maybe the west coast of the peninsula of Florida. And it should weaken down, expected to be a Category 1 at this point by Thursday night into Friday morning. It could still veer farther to the east or to the west. We're going to watch that. Highs in the 50s here at home the next three days all the way through Wednesday. It's going to be drier and we're going to get a little warmer in the second half of the week, but some chillier mornings. Thursday, Friday mornings, we're going to pull this in the low 40s.